Okay, uh, my name is Sarah Burpin. I'm an art history and political science student at the University of Victoria. Um, I grew up in Toronto and moved to Victoria three years ago, and this is where I live now. Um, I've been employed to work on the archives this summer, so Open Space is updating their website to make the history of Open Space, including past exhibitions and administrative history, how it all started available to the public, to see if people would be interested in researching it and get a better idea of sort of what's gone on here in the past 40 years. One of the things that attracted me to Open Space was the interesting programming, and it's very different from a lot of the more traditional galleries that I'm used to. Um, and you can definitely see that right from the beginning. And so I think, I guess even in the 70s, it was pretty experimental, but that's definitely been maintained throughout. So right. learning more about that and the details of certain exhibitions and artists who have come here and gone on to do other things. I'll be working on a re at least one or probably two research projects. Um, I don't think I've picked an artist yet. I think certain um, shows have stuck out to me and certainly a lot of the things I've seen is themes that have been picked up in recent years so I think that might be something I want to explore as themes that were addressed in the 70s and have sort of become popular again. Like Greenwash, there's a lot of environmental stuff that you can see in the early years. So. Um, everyone's very friendly and helpful. Um, I've worked in a bigger gallery before and it was a lot of bureaucracy and you didn't really know who you were working with, so you didn't really know what was going on behind the scenes, even though you were behind the scenes. Um, so it's nice to be able to work with everyone and understand what everyone's doing and everyone's working together. I, I'm definitely looking forward to pursuing more in-depth research on the projects and finding out what comes up even that's not in our archives because I imagine there will be stuff I'll be able to find outside of open space that's relevant um, and sort of seeing how open space maybe fostered a project that went on to do, that went on to something bigger. <laughs> um, it depends who's asking. For a lot of my friends I have to explain what an art gallery is <laughs> and then what an artist rent center is. Um, but for my friends who are interested in art, either they know a lot about what's going on, so I tell them specifically about my job. Um, I tell my dad about some of the weird things I've come across, because he's very interested in experimental art of the 1970s, apparently. And I tell my mom that everyone treats me well. <laughs> um, so I'm studying art history and political science at the University of Victoria. Um, and I'm sort of, I'm trying to figure out how I can put those two degrees together because they often don't overlap. But there are certain professors in art history that are interested in my poli-sci degree, so sometimes I have that opportunity. Um, I think I'm, I'm sort of interested in, I guess, what's going on around the art at the time, and that's another reason why I'm interested in open space, because it's such a community-based center. There's a lot of, you know, it has to do with not just the actual artworks, but political and social issues. So I guess right now that's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've been crabbing and fishing, so um, thinking about going hunting. <laughs> Things that I never thought I would do. Um, well, the thing I like about Victoria and then specifically the arts community is that it's big enough that there's a lot going on, but small enough that people know each other and it's intimate and it's not so, um, what's the word I'm looking for, isolating I guess sometimes. Um, I mean even with the art crawl, you know, everyone, so many people knew each other and they knew the artists and they knew the venues and you just saw how lively and close the art community was and the open space really feels at the center of that because it's well established that people really recognize it but it still, you know, maintains connections to smaller galleries and smaller artists, so. Very good. Anything else you'd like to say? I think that's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>